My name's Tracy Hughes, and my story happened to me about 10 years ago now. And up to that point, I didn't believe in any ghostly happenings or supernatural things like that. But, well, on this night in question, I'd finished a show in an old hotel back in my hometown of Stourbridge. The ballroom was one floor up, and there was a lot of equipment to get in and out of the building. Well, the show had finished. The guests had gone home. The hotel manager had gone home and most of his staff had gone home. All that was left was me and the night porter. Well, all the equipment was packed down and I'd got about four journeys to make to the car. I remember picking up the first set of equipment and walked down the steps through the courtyard, through the gap in the fence or the gate in the fence into the car. The front of the building had all been locked up by this point and it was quite dark, just bare minimum lighting on. I put the first amount of equipment in the car, I'd gone back for the second lot. As I was picking it up, I suddenly heard a kind of whispering, um, voices if you like. I called out thinking it was the night porter, uh, no answer. I called again, still no answer. As I was walking it was very quiet and there were stone steps. As I was going down the steps, I heard what I thought was a second set of footsteps behind me. Getting louder and louder as I was going down the steps. Of course I looked round and there was nothing there again. I called out to the night porter. Nothing. I carried on and put the cases in the car. As I came back I went to find the night porter thinking he must be around. He was sitting in his little office right at the very front of the building. I went to find him and said, did you shout me earlier? Are you looking for me? He said, no. He said, I've been in the office all this time. I wished him good night and told him I'd got literally a couple of journeys left to do. He thanked me and closed the door. I went back to the ballroom. Now, this time my heart was beating very, very fast. I was getting a little short of breath and I picked up the cases hoping not to hear anything. But again, the whispering started. The whispering was getting louder and louder. But I could not get out of that room quick enough. I flew across the ballroom, down the stairs, and the whispering seemed to follow me. Not only that, the footsteps were getting louder and louder behind me. It seemed like they were getting closer and closer all the time. I literally ran to the car, dropped the cases in the car and ran back into the building one more time. I'd only got one more journey to make. I grabbed the cases out of the ballroom and I don't think I've ever run so fast. Down the stone steps, again, the footsteps were getting closer and closer. The whispering was getting louder and louder. I crossed the courtyard. Literally, I knew I hadn't got very far to get into the car, but the footsteps seemed like they were right behind me. Well, I couldn't take it any longer. I dropped the cases, didn't even bother opening the gate. I tried to climb over the gate. And just as I was climbing over, the footsteps seemed to stop right behind me. The whispering was getting louder, and then I felt just below my knee what felt like two very cold hands, just below my knee. As I was trying to climb over the gate, they were getting tighter and tighter and they started pulling on my leg. Just like I've been pulling yours. 